Hey guys, it's Michael Schuster and Todd Shu again from Faroque. Thank you so much for your interest in the project and support so far as we've kicked the Faroque Lamborghini project into high gear. In the last month, the VDI squad has been hard at work, days, evenings, and weekends as we got our SD-WAN and Citrix Cloud environments online for the vehicle. And yes, we do have the center console running Windows VDI as well. So our mobile digital workspace in the Lamborghini is well underway. We've got a number of things that we've completed over the last month. A couple of key areas of, uh, of interest. The SD-WAN is up and running, it's connected back to our data center, and its redundant SIM cards are in place and fully functional, which is great. This means that we're gonna have redundancy between our different carrier networks. We also have Wi-Fi working in the car, which is fantastic, so all our Wi-Fi enabled devices, uh, whether it's smartphones or laptops or thin clients, or even our printers and scanners from our friends at Brother are fully connected to the, the network as well within the car. One piece I'm really excited about, as if there was even a competition, I mean, come on, we're building a digital workspace in a Lamborghini after all, is that we were able to move up our private cloud build for the car. All right, what does this mean? We've sourced and configured one of the most compact Intel nooks out there with solid CPU, RAM, and storage complement to run workloads in the vehicle. So with the help of our little hypervisor setup, we have a Citrix cloud resource location right in the car and we're actively able to launch full-featured virtual desktops from anywhere in the world out of the Lambo. In addition to this, we've started the groundwork on integrating our thin client solution from our friends at iGel into the car as well. So we have gotten our VDI working within the console of the Lamborghini. So we've got our Logitech camera from our friends at Logitech that we're able to send over to us, and that'll be wired up and configured and tested out in the coming weeks alongside a fully functional Teams deployment running from our Citrix VDI. Stay tuned for more footage and more deep dives into the build and capabilities and configurations that we put in today.